the leader of the Her Majesty's Royal Opposition. Speaker, my question for the uh, Minister of Economic Development, Employment and Infrastructure. Uh, Minister, Ontario's auto sector is the backbone of communities throughout our province. We all know the hard work and tremendous pride auto workers put into their jobs. That's why it's so alarming to hear union and auto industry executives raise concerns about the troubled state of General Motors' Canadian operations. Next year, for example, example Chevrolet Camaro production stops in Oshawa altogether and will move to Lansing, Michigan. In 2016, just a year and a half from now, one of the two assembly plants in Oshawa is scheduled to close. A shutdown of Oshawa would result in nearly 3,600 jobs lost. Minister, what action is your government taking to stop the shutdown of auto production in Oshawa, Ontario? Good question. Minister of Economic Development. Well, Mr. Speaker, let me, let me, let me tell you uh, right off the bat what we're not going to do. Stop the clock. The members closest to me on my left, it's very difficult for me to carry on if you keep trying to shout the person who's answering. Next time you'll be named. The Minister. Mr. Speaker, let me tell you right off the bat what we're not going to do. We're not going to do what the PC party did at, at, the, at, the, at the earliest sign of trouble in the auto sector during the recession. They ran and hid, Mr. Speaker. They failed to stand up for the auto sector. We partnered with the federal government, Mr. Speaker, to make sure that GM is even here today. Because had we not have done that, Mr. Speaker, had we had taken the advice of the party opposite, we would not have an auto sector like we have today here in the province of Ontario. An auto sector, Mr. Speaker, that employs over 400,000 Ontarians. Mr. Speaker, the member raises some, some valid concerns. We are looking carefully at the future of GM in Oshawa. And Mr. Speaker, but in, in my supplementary, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the optimism of the new president of GM with regard to his their investments Thank you. in Ontario. Supplementary. Minister, Minister, these aren't meant to be hard hitting partisan questions. This is meant to stand up for the hard working men and women in our auto sector. Other jurisdictions, as you know, are taking urgent action to strengthen their auto sectors for the 21st century marketplace. In 2013, Michigan's governor created the Michigan Automotive Office. This office is headed by an experienced industry professional who reports directly to the governor. That's how serious Michigan takes its auto industry. So it's not surprising that Oshawa's Chevrolet Camaro is moving to Lansing, Michigan. The Michigan Automotive Office has issued a 30-year strategic plan to grow the state's automotive industry base. And Minister, I just ask you, where is your long-term plan to grow Ontario's automotive base? Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, let me talk about the investments this government has made over the objections of the party opposite to grow our economic base in the auto sector. Mr. Speaker, $800 million of investment we've invested in the last 10 years. We've gotten back $10 billion of investment made by auto companies here in the province of Ontario. For investments, Mr. Speaker, that the party opposite refers to as corporate welfare. Shame on you, Mr. Speaker. Shame on the party opposite to get up today, a party that does not support any support that we've given to the auto sector, any support that we've given to the hard-working men and women, 400,000 strong that have jobs in this sector. Mr. Speaker, they've opposed us every step of the way. We'll continue to work with the auto sector in this province. We'll continue to work with our companies. We'll continue to make those important investments, and we'll continue to have a strong auto sector here in the province of Ontario. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, the minister can be partisan and get in a bickering match with, with us, I suppose. Uh, it's not going to help the workers who are depending on his government to do the right thing. Obviously, what you're doing isn't working, Minister. GM's leaving. The, plan Order. the warning signs are there. So what you're doing isn't, isn't working. In Michigan, they don't just don't throw billions of dollars after billions of dollars. They have a seven-point plan that doesn't involve money. It involves marketing, strategic branding, talent development, and attracting new ta talent engineering network, policy and legislative advice to the government, business development advice, working collaboratively with the government, capital attraction and development. These are things that don't cost the billions of dollars. You raise electricity rates, slap on the red tape, put up the taxes, and then throw billions of dollars to correct your mistakes. When are you going to come up with a 30-year plan that works?
Minister. Why the party opposite so admires the administration in Michigan? They're a right-to-work state, Mr. Speaker. That's why they like the state of Michigan. And you know what else, Mr. Speaker? They have an eight-dollar minimum wage in Michigan. I know that party would love to bring our minimum wage down to eight dollars. But get this, Mr. Speaker, they also don't have a lack of support for maternity leave in Michigan. That's the kind of administration they want to run. That's not the kind of province we're building here in this province of Ontario. We support our auto workers, Mr. Speaker, and we support our auto workers. Minister? to work in partnership with that sector. We're going to continue to make investments like we made near his riding in Alliston. $857 million investment by Honda just a few weeks ago. Mr. Speaker, we'll continue. Stop the clock. It doesn't seem um, as I'm getting true to some of you. On the government side, the Minister of Environment, you're the loudest. I'd ask you to keep it down. <laughs> Go back to the point. New question. 